Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. I saw this tint when I was shopping at Mecca Cosmetica in Auckland um, before I was supposed to be going to work. <laughs> I don't know how long this has been out. I did see some reviews that were like from 2020 or 2019 maybe, so I feel like it's not a very new product. Um, but I was really interested in it because I have been looking for a really lightweight, like no makeup makeup product. And I have found some really beautiful ones so far. So previously I have tried the Innisfree Simple Label Tinted Moisturizer and then also the Morphe 2 Tinted Skin Tint, which I really liked too. However, neither of them were really the right color. And so when I saw this and I saw all of the shades, I was like, maybe there's a shade for me. And there is, it's one of the like weird between ones. Um, so yeah, that is why I picked it up. So for this review, I'm gonna be having a product description, packaging, swatches and application, longevity, and my final thoughts. So if you'd like to skip to any of those points, please do so now. So for this one, the product description says, a vegan tinted mineral SPF face serum that provides skin with a lightweight dewy coverage. Skin is left feeling hydrated and nourished thanks to hyaluronic acid to plump, plant-based squalene to balance and niacinamide to help smooth skin's texture. This product has been dermatologist tested and is non-comedogenic. The packaging of this product is probably not my favorite thing. I think that it just looks like very utilitarian, like it does the job, it does the job fine, but it's not beautiful. <laughs> but it does come with a dropper top, which is really helpful for applying the product because it is that really slippery, lightweight feel. I picked mine up in the shade 2.5 Sombrio. I'm assuming that's how we say Sombrio. I really second guess my pronunciation in these videos. And this one is a very pale, warm toned, kind of like yellowy color, I think. This one says fair with warm olive undertones. Thank you, website. <laughs> this is a really good color for me. It is slightly off from Nars Chia Glow Siberia. I feel like it is slightly darker, but otherwise very doable. However, these do oxidize. And if you look at the arm swatch, you can see it oxidize. Um, it's very strange. Like it oxidizes really badly, but it's still pretty good. I don't feel like it oxidizes that bad on my face, just on my arm for some reason. Maybe I'd apply it too quickly to my face, I don't know. So I've just finished my skincare and I'm giving the bottle a very good shake. And then to apply, I'm gonna be using a little flat, what is this, buffer brush. So I'm gonna drop a bit like that. And obviously the color is very warm toned, very yellow, but it does oxidize a little. Like if you just let it sit, you'll be able to see it slowly oxidizing. Um, but I don't think that it matters that much because once it's blended out, it's like you can barely see the color anyway. <laughs> so as long as it's close enough, and for me, as long as it has those um, yellower tones, it matches my neck really well because my face is naturally a bit pinker because of redness. So it makes it look more like um, the rest of my body, but it still has like zero coverage. So this is what the skin tint looks like on this side. So you can see that it matches my neck really well. Good color. And this is what it looks like without. So we can see a little bit of redness, a little bit of um, unevenness in the skin tone. Looks a bit more red than my neck. So even though it doesn't look like much, there definitely is a little bit of coverage. If you want to, you can also share it out a little bit more so you don't have to have quite as much. So it's just like applying a moisturizer, you just have to be a little bit more careful about blending it um, with the fingers. I feel like it's like a, it's not quite as easy to apply with fingers as it is with a brush. So it is like ridiculously quick, ridiculously easy, and I think that it just looks really, really, really nice and natural. So if here is the forehead, we can see the little fine lines here and this on the side as well. They're not more covered but they're not enhanced, so I'm happy with that. Around the eyes, we can still see a few of those little fine lines when we smile, but they're not made any worse. The skin itself looks super dewy and like, just really, really moisturized, which is great. And then around the chin, you can still see the redness. This is a birthmark um, on the cheeks and like the little uh, scars around the mouth as well. But again, they're not, they're not covered, they're just kind of like blurred. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I will show you guys around the house and then do some check-ins throughout the day. 
So here is our filtered direct light. So we're standing like right beside a window. It's very bright this morning. <laughs> and the skin tint looks really nice. It's very natural, but you can still see like, you can see like little bags underneath my eyes. Scars on the chin, scars there. Redness, a little bit, but it's just a little bit more covered. So this is non-powdered. Here is our indirect indoor lighting. So this is further away from the windows. And again, you can still see quite a few scars and things like that. And here is a close up as well. Um, this redness is blush. So that's meant to be there, but you can still see all of these little marks. You can still see the redness there. So this at the moment is probably the most accurate lighting to what I see um, like in the reflection. I still really like it though. And here is the outside lighting. Um, I'm not sitting down today because the sun is uh, a bit higher today. So this is what it looks like is super bright. So here is my like mid-afternoon check-in of how the foundation is going. Obviously I've been wearing glasses. I've also had a mask on today just for a little while though so I have a little bit of extra markings. So I didn't powder my skin today at all so there is a little bit of shine. There isn't a ton of oil on the nose. Obviously it is still like shiny though because I didn't set it but it's not worse than what it was before so you still have the nice coverage of the redness and yeah it still looks like it just looks like my skin without makeup on. So that is our time and I will do another check-in tonight in some less good lighting. So here is the cushion after 13 hours which is a pretty long wear. We are looking a little bit shiny on the forehead and also on the nose but it's pretty ordinary for my usual wear. Overall I think that it looks pretty good. I'd be happy with this um, without any powder. And I wanted to show you guys the difference when you apply powder. So I applied powder on one side of my face and not the other. And this is how we were looking for the first application. Then after four hours, this is how we are looking. It's still pretty good. I would be satisfied with this. And here it is after the full day. You can't see much difference between the powdered side and the non-powdered side in my opinion. The powdered side is just more mattified than the non-powdered side, of course. This has been a really odd success for me. Um, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's $77. That's really expensive. And then when I applied it to my hand, I was like, oh, it's a great color. And then after like a minute, I was like, where has it gone? Am I paying $77 for absolutely nothing? And the good news is it, that's a yes and a no. <laughs> so on the skin, I love that it sinks into the skin and it's almost like you cannot see it. Like on camera, I feel like I've got like a nice bit of coverage. But in real life, I feel like it just looks like my own skin, but slightly more even. I think that it gets rid of a lot of redness in my skin, but it doesn't cover any of the actual flaws. So like I can see all of the like little bits on my skin that maybe people don't want to see, like little scars and freckles and things like that. And I'm okay with that. Like I'm totally fine with that. I think that for me, the best thing about this is that I can just like stick it on with my hands and don't do any other makeup and still look good. <laughs> so I find that with the other tinted products that I picked up, like the Hint Hint Skin Tint, I found that um, if I applied that to my skin, I still look like I was wearing makeup. And so I couldn't get away with not doing my brows or not doing my like mascara or something like that because it just looked off. Whereas with this one, I actually can just apply this and not do anything else put my hair up in a ponytail and then go on about my weekend and feel like I've got a little bit of extra coverage for if I feel like I just want to look a little bit more done up, I guess, but without having to go through everything else. It also doesn't need to be powdered, which I love. So I can still have this beautiful dewy finish, but it doesn't get oily. It doesn't get super gross throughout the day. Like it's not falling off my face, which is so nice. The other thing that I love is that after I take it off, my skin feels so moisturized. Like, it actually is a serum tint. So this one actually does make my skin feel delightful. Like, it's a delight taking off my makeup at night, which is unusual, <laughs> but nice. So between this one being a really good shade, like, we love this. Easy to apply, doesn't need a powder. I can use it with more makeup or I can use it without any makeup on breast and makeup. It lasts like the whole day. I can wear it underneath masks. And it makes my skin feel beautiful when I take it off. This is like, a, it's like 
I'm happy to pay $77 for it because it's ticking literally all the boxes. The only thing I wish that it did tick was a pretty packaging. I think a bit of works, you know, like I could travel with it. It's very sturdy. Can you tell that I'm like really jazzed about this product? Like I'm really jazzed about this product. <laughs> So I would recommend it for any princesses who are looking for that really sheer coverage, that like no makeup makeup look. I think it is awesome. And especially if you have dry skin, um, I would definitely recommend it. And especially if you're like an Ars Chico in Siberia and you're looking for this product, it is very, very, very close match. Very close. It doesn't oxidize nearly as much on my face as it does on my arm. <laughs> it's not that bad. So thank you guys so much for watching this review and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.